For a small business, sometimes placing an order can be as simple as calling your supplier and requesting the goods or services. But as your business grows, the need to manage ordering will grow too. And that's where purchase orders in Zero will help put you in control of purchasing from your suppliers. So you both know exactly what's been ordered, the agreed cost, and when and where it should be delivered. In Purchases, create your purchase order and fill out the order details. You'll notice the fields and drop-downs are the perfect size for touch-friendly devices too. Ideal for when you're on the move or on site and need to create an order right then and there. When it comes to ordering, the delivery address can change all the time, so you can add in a one-off address or select from a growing list that you can keep adding to. You might have a specific contact and delivery message you need to include on the document. Just like bills, you can save a purchase order as a draft and come back later to finish it up or even submit it for further approval before it gets sent out. Once approved, you're ready to email it to your supplier. Have a default to your preferred email template to save time. And the orders look great. You can customize the look of them under invoice settings by using invoice themes just like you would to customize your sales invoices. In email settings, you'll find the option to add in custom email templates for purchase orders to save you rekeying in a standard message to your suppliers each time. To find your existing orders, just click through the Purchases dashboard, and like bills, they're all listed under tabs for their different states. Everything is easy to locate with sortable columns and search. For a quick glance at what you're expecting to arrive soon, try sorting the columns by delivery date or expected arrival, so those ones are grouped together at the top of the list. Let's say we have now received a bill for an order we created. A quick way to process this would be to locate the purchase order and then copy it to a new draft bill and ensure it's marked as fully billed if that's the case. From there, you can process the bill in zero as you normally would. You can also do that from within the order and go from there. If you select multiple orders from the same supplier, this will copy them onto one consolidated bill. A very tidy solution for when your supplier ends up delivering all your recent orders at once on one bill. If the order has only been partially fulfilled and there's still another bill on its way for the remaining goods or services yet to be delivered, then copy the order to a bill but leave the mark as fully billed box unticked for now and adjust the draft bill accordingly. When you're billed for the rest, simply copy the order to a bill again, and this time, mark it as fully billed. You can easily cross-reference an order to a bill from the link in History and Notes, and there you'll find a complete audit trail of what actions have been carried out with the order and by whom. We know there can be a lot of twists and turns when it comes to ordering, so to keep things really simple and flexible, you can select any approved or billed order and copy it to a new draft bill or a new purchase order and amend it from there. A real time saver for when you need to create a new order that's similar to previous ones. You can even copy an order to a sales invoice for when you've ordered goods to on sell to your customers. To accommodate a variety of workflows, there's also the ability to bulk select orders and flag them as mark as build, so they are moved to a build status to keep your list of orders tidy and up to date. Working this way does not create a draft bill for the order in the process. It just changes the status of the order to build, perfect for carrying out a bit of housekeeping. Purchase orders in zero. Simple, powerful, and flexible. Get your ordering right every time.